Hey YouTube, Make My Marvel with another uh, statue unboxing and review. This will be uh, the Sideshow Silk Comic Cat, the exclusive, one-fifth scale, and uh, you can see it's number 209 of an edition size of 500. Alright, very simple art box here. Uh, it just resembles, you know, pattern and uh, scheme of Silk's uh, costume. So, nothing out of the ordinary with the box. Okay, styrofoam uh, has only one compartment, just the main compartment, and get it all opened up. And here we go. Handle with care. So we get the body, base, couple of heads, and then uh, looks like hands and some street signs of the little gargoyle stuff that goes on the uh, the light of the base. All right, and there's the bottom of the base. You see 209 out of 500. This is, uh, you know, again, part of the uh, three comic cats that put out, Sideshow put out from the Mark Brooks artist line um, with uh, Spider, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Spider-Gwen, uh, Spider-Man, and Silk. Um, got Spider-Gwen already. That came out a little while ago. Did a review on her. Uh, you can, sh that video, you can see I had some issues with um, the street signs fitting in properly uh able to fix that with a little hair dryer trick and uh base is fairly light here um but it's, you know fairly nice it's still got this you know weird glob of webbing uh i can see why they did that you know they wanted to get it up high but they didn't want to make an entire street light to uh to perch her, perch her on so they kind of able to cut it in half with the the webbing but whatever All right, so the first three pieces that I took out of the box are these little uh, gargoyle pieces um, that attach to the street light. Uh, you know, Sideshow or Mark Brooks, when he did an interview with Sideshow, said he did. He went with this dragon um, design because uh, Silk's character, Cindy Moon, is uh, Asian. Um, so this is supposed to pay homage to, you know, her Asian heritage. Um, it's all just little magnets and round bases. And... Uh, you know, they're, they're universal fits. So, um, you know, a nice strong magnet holds in there. But it doesn't matter which one you put them in. They're not keyed specific. They'll fit in any single one. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, and then the three of them in there. So, okay. And here is uh, Cindy Moon's body. Um, you see there's one peg on her butt. She just sits right up on top of the lamp. Um, they did the webbing on the bottom of the feet. It's pretty cool on the shoes. It's painted really nice, real simple, but real nice, clean. Everything's real clean. Uh, they did a great job of fading the red into the black of her, her webbing there. and It looks good. It looks good. You can kind of see, it looks like, uh, I think the webbing attaches at the end of her, her finger. Wow, that is horrible. Sorry about that. Let me put it on the base, see if I can better focus that way. All right, just one thing you want to be aware of um, is when you're putting her on, just be real careful uh, about the finger, not make sure it doesn't break on the light. And then on her key, on her butt, there's like a red piece on the inside where it's painted red on the inside of the keyhole. And then this little red line underneath on the, the key part, the male end of the key part on, the, on her peg that kind of signal how she fits in there to line up. So it, it does only fit in one way. Just make sure you uh, you put it in properly. And again, as you're putting it in, uh, just be real cautious of her pinky. It is a tight fit. You know, her hand is actually touching. Her pinky's touching the light post, so it's pretty cool. They, uh, they fit that right in. And her foot's, you can see that's touching the light. I like how they did do the, um, the plastic or glass or whatever they use for the street light. They gave that kind of opaque look to it. You can see... You can almost kind of see through it. Um, if you look here, you can see, uh, you know, these green metal posts. When uh, on the opposite side, you can see through them through the glass. It's kind of cool. Nice job. And so you can see how the webbing attaches there to her fingers. It's just a little tiny peg, and it fits right in. The rest of the webbing goes right around her arm. Um, you know, they did a nice job because Cindy Moon's... Uh, you know powers she makes her own webbing she doesn't need any artificial web shooters or a webbing formula like peter parker it's it comes out of her body um 
for part of her powers. So they did a nice job with that. It's just it's plastic. I mean, you don't have, really have to worry about breaking that. And I think I think these guys are plastic too. They feel pretty light. All right, we got the heads out here. So we'll start with the uh, regular head first. And uh, you see the regular head is the unmasked portrait. Nice job with uh, with the paint, and the face and everything. It all looks really good. Um, you just get a scarf pulled around her neck. The hair is just kind of an overall uh, matte black look. There's not too many highlights in it. You can get just a hint of very, very slight purple highlights in it. Um, what I noticed here is uh, there's no pin on the bottom of this one. just looks like there's a magnet. Um, and on this one here, like the body, there is a little tiny pin hole. Um, but let me just put the regular head on the body at first just to get that out of the way. Nice strong magnet that holds it in place. Um, and then I'll show you here on the exclusive head. We'll go back to the regular in a second. But on the exclusive head, you can see they do put a pin here. Uh, so I don't know if that's something that Sideshow did. So, you know, only the exclusive head can fit on the statue. Meaning if you bought a collector's edition, a regular edition, um, you couldn't separately buy an exclusive head and fit it on the statue. I don't know if the collector's edition is going to have the whole in the body um, that this one does. So it'll be interesting to see some videos or pictures of people that get the regular one and see if it has the hole in the uh, in the body. But this one here, you can see there's a little bit more purple highlights, not many more, um, but the hair is different. Um, and then she's obviously got the, the mask as well, which I like, it's not just like, you know, the same hair as a regular one, they just pulled the mask up. I actually really like, um, you know, that. I like the mask one. I think it's a. I think this is a really good exclusive. Um, I like the hairstyle better. I like the the mask portrait better. But let me get you some uh, some shots of the regular head before I take that off. The eyes kind of look a little wonky. I'm trying to decide if they are or not. I know she's supposed to be looking down her arm. And maybe slightly a little wonky. They're not too bad, actually. Not terrible. The statue's painted real nice. You know, like I said, one-fifth scale, fully sculpted. There's some plastic tidbits here. All right, let's get the exclusive head on. All right, and there's the uh, exclusive head. They've done a ni real nice job of that, the way they, you know, just sculpted the scarf and everything. It just, it hides a seam perfectly. You can't tell that the heads can come on and off. Um, and I do like that exclusive masked head much better. I think even and with the Spider Gwen, same thing. The Spider Gwen had the uh, the exclusive was a masked head on that, and I prefer to display, um, you know, that as well. So, all right. All right, and that's the uh, two Mark Brooks uh, comic heads displayed side by side. You got obviously Silk on the left and Spider Gwen on the right. Um, they look great together. Really nice pair. Uh, I like how they they came out. Uh, you can see uh, Silk's you know black costume was shinier than Spider Gwen's, but um, you know, real cool, real cool looking uh, looking statues. They did a real nice job with this. I passed on the Spider-Man in this line. That one I didn't like at all. Um, thought it was a terrible base and just don't really dig it. Uh, there's a lot better Spider-Man out there. Um, but these two, these two, they did nice.
All right. Hey, thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. Have a great night.